All right, hello everyone. This is Casperage. Welcome to the Xenoblade Three Chron、uh, Xenoblade Chronicles Three playthrough. Um, this is my second Xenoblade game. I just finished Xenoblade One. It's on my YouTube channel. I finished it、uh, a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago, I think. I I didn't really like that、uh, Xenoblade One.、Uh, I played Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On my channel, I didn't really like it.、It's, it feels like I'm all really, all, always really close to loving the game, but there's like always a layer that how that's like doesn't really jab jive with me. So I, I, I like it's all. It never gotten to like good or even、uh, like great or even good with me. So I hope this one will be different because this is like technically I think this is the fourth game in the franchise. You know, but according goes. One was definitely the first one. I, then I think there's Xenoblade X, then Xenoblade Two. This is Xenoblade Three. Hopefully, I'll like this one better. Also, I had more hopes for this game because I have some friends that are huge Xenoblade fans, which is <coughs> one of the main reasons why I decided to give the Xenoblade franchise a try,、uh, and why I, even after I didn't like really like Xenoblade One, I decided to try Xenoblade Three、uh, still. It's because、uh, I have friends that I that are huge Xenoblade fans that they're really excited about this re this release, and they'll be playing this game um 100 percenting it. I'm pretty sure, uh, um on their time uh when they play it. So because I'm playing three games at the once, I'm playing Digimon Survive Xenoblade Three and Fire Emblem Warrior Three Hopes, the Golden Deer Root. So I'll be behind on most of my friends, uh, the, uh, like progress-wise. So whenever I run into a problem or like I have I'm confused about the game, I could just like、uh, ask them because I'm pretty sure they'll be farther than where I am at the game at any given moment. So yeah. Also, I'm going to be doing everything. Uh, Xenoblade Three, everything on stream. I did um when I played Xenoblade One, I did uh every a lot of side quests off stream. I only did like a little bit on stream, but I'm going to do every one of this uh game side quests、uh, on stream. I'm not gonna do anything off stream. All right, I think that's enough talk. Let's go. Game has been updated version one point one. For more detail, press game to screen for more information. Sure. New game and options. Camera, audio, English, display brightness. Okay, barely see anything. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is fine. All right, new game. Here we go. Easy, normal, or hard. I'm not gonna play it on hard. I'm going to be playing on normal. I don't know if you can、uh, switch the difficulties while、uh, in game, but、uh, I'm gonna try normal. Difficulty level can be changed at any time. Let's go. All right, system options. In the end part of the Xenoblade One, I had to like switch that game to to like easy mode because I. Casual mode because I like the game never actually really drive with me so I never quite gotten used to the combat system of that game so yeah been really enjoying that experience hopefully this will be different monolith soft colony six.
Oh, isn't that the uh, high Antioch palace thing? So this is the same world then. Okay. So this could very well be colony like six or nine. Okay. Yeah, these are in the trailers, so. Do they get to live longer by doing this, or what's happening? Oh, this is the the intro fight, huh? Alright, you will automatically attack an enemy if you approach him. It's called auto attack. Sure. Stand near the enemy to continue auto attacking. I can confirm your range for auto attack will show the bottom right corner of the screen. Alright. Oh, so there, there is no like different combos, uh, skills or whatever. This is just uh, teaching you how to do regular auto attack.
Okay, apparently, apparently I'm not in the range even I stand near on the uh, range attacker. That's gonna be dumb. Now I can attack him. All right. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Exclamation <coughs> mark marks your next destination. The number below indicates how far away you are from that destination. You can review tips I've propped up in games. Any harm the main menu system tips. All right. All right. Begin battle by drawing your weapon. First, target an enemy, then press A to join your weapon. To withdraw the battle, hold A for a while to seize your weapon. Approach an enemy to automatically target them. If the multiple enemy press Z. All right. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Arts are stronger than auto attack. They can be active by pressing X, Y, or B. Oh, okay. So that's different than the uh, then you have to fumble the control to try to get them. You can just press buttons to, to do it. Using after using art, you cannot use it until the gauge fills back. The art gauge up automatically over time. This is called recharge. All right. Ground beat, sword strike. Back attack, all right. Nice. Okay, this is this game still has the back attack and side attack thing. I find I I find it really annoying in Zimbabwe One. Hopefully, just pressing a button will make things better. I don't know. Hopefully, it will. Back attack. Ground beat. Grumpy beat be on the AOE, which this AOE feels like it does a lot more damage than than the one in. Oh, there's more. The back attack does so much more damage than, than like when you actually do it right. Oh, wrong one. Okay. I thought that was to the back, then I realized I'm only to the side.
Holy moly. Really, we're fighting this thing, huh? Alright, talent are stronger than normal. Talent art can be activated by pressing A once uh, circular gauge is filled. The talent art gauge is reached by performing actions. Special departure's roll, what's it called? Roll action. The talent gauge is reached by performing actions, except expected for characters' roll, also called roll action. Okay, so if a healer heals and um, charges, if a tank like uses DPS, uh, not like tanks, and if you, if a uh, like attacker attacks, is, is that what you mean? <coughs> you can meet the requirement for arts that gives bonus effect. Your talent icon will flash red. Talent gauge fills up a lot. Actions that deal damage effectively, such as dealing critical hits or partic uh, participating in combos, also count as zero action. Charge your talent by the hit. All right. <coughs> Perform an attack the moment the previous one hits, allow you to cancel one attack into the next, makes them flow quickly into each other. What do you mean? You can cancel auto attack into arts and arts into talent arts. Do the speed up the exam and let you deal more damage quickly. Okay, I don't really get that last part, but okay. Alright. Okay, that's pretty cool. This thing's a pushover. It did a spin attack, but it did nothing, apparently. I think I somehow, uh, like, timed it. Whenever he gets toppled, I get to do a ground beat. Which should, like, do more damage if it's, it's like the, any of the uh, original games. Like, if it's like anything like Xenoblade 1. <coughs> 